So I go to a board game meetup every weekend, and one of my friends there, um, she's going through a hard time because she broke up with her boyfriend over him not drinking anymore. She says he's such a boring guy ever since he quit drinking. And I'm thinking to myself, in what world does one become boring when they free up their time and energy from a destructive habit? Now he, he's not spending time drinking, he's not spending time drunk, uh, and presumably has more freedom to do other interesting things. In what world does freeing up energy make you more boring? Now, um, th that wasn't the only time where a change in perspective made a difference. So, I work at a tutoring center, and um, I can't really hide the fact that I do intermittent fasting, because food is so intertwined in our society. So, sometimes people offer me food, oh, I'm fasting. Um, I, I also can't hide a lot of other healthy habits. It's just very intertwined, right? I have a UV light bulb at my desk. And um, now the kids want to sit in front of the UV light as well. And I try not to spend too much time sitting, right? During the, the, the tutoring session, I'll stand up or at least kneel on the floor. And so, so the kids learn a lot of healthy habits. And some occasionally, I'll get a kid who also wants to fast. Now, sometimes the parents get really upset at me. They, they think that I'm encouraging unhealthy eating habits. But sometimes the, the parents support me. Unfortunately, the kids forget that they're fasting and they accidentally break the fast. Or they um, they uh, have nothing better to do. Oh my god, I, I, I only made it 12 hours yesterday. What, what happened? I got bored and I had nothing to fill my time with. And then you don't have time to do your homework? And you don't have time to do all these other things that, that you wanted to do? And it just goes to show how, uh, how, how um, brainwashed we are that, oh my god, extra time has to be spent binge eating, extra energy has to spent, be spent drinking. And then um, sometimes, especially teenagers, they just broke up with their significant other. Now they have nobody to go to their favorite movie with, their restaurant, and, um, and then I remind them... Um, those places, you need two people to go into there. And then I tell them that, you know, there was one place that I couldn't go because I didn't have somebody to go with. At a theme park where some of the rides really did need two people to ride with. But other than that, I've never had a problem going on a date because I didn't have a partner. And uh, it just goes to show how, how fixed-minded we've become, right? Free yourself.